Got the bike loaded. It's trying to record it, but it's so dang cold the GoPro turned off. Woke up this morning. We're supposed to be going to Moab, Utah, dirt biking. We're still going, don't worry. But what is with this winter season in April? This is ridiculous. We work with what we got. Got to start packing up, got to meet everybody. My dad's picking me up at a place down the street, so we got to load up everything, get down to the park and ride, and meet up with my dad. Got some new gear yesterday. It's pretty sweet or as we like to call it, steezy. And just for fun, I add a little flavor to it. Make it my own. You know, you gotta just, just make it your own. Make it your own, that's what it's all about. Check it out. Yeah. All right, trying to keep this door open because the wind just keeps blowing it shut. Yes, we are dirt biking even though it is super snowy and wintry right now. It's really cold, we gotta get going. We're on the way to go ride for a week. No one brought jackets, we're all brought riding gear. I got a jacket. You got a jacket? Decent jacket. Is your jacket? Eagle Scout. He's an Eagle Scout, so he's always prepared. Always prepared. Always prepared. Got three eagles in the bird nest here today. <laughs> We've converted our timber sled kits off bikes yet. That's true. Should have left them on. Got some double queen bed bunk beds. They're huge. They're stout. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> it's not moving. Cool anywhere. Those are cool. Those are sweet. You need to do this at the cabin or something. Tastes like freedom, but it's gonna feel like prison in a little while. For starters today, we got to switch the front tire. Knobbies on the side are getting pretty exposed, so we got to switch that out. That's first on the agenda before we head out. Uh, it's like 40 degrees out. Had to change one last tire, Malcolm's tire. Everything else is prepped and ready, but we got to do last minute maintenance. Everyone knows how to do it at Moab. Every year we're doing Jance's valves last night. Still got to fix those, so everyone's got a little bit to do, so it'll be fun. <laughs> Mike finally showed up. There you go. Come to inspect the prop project. I plug tires all the time, but <laughs> apparently not enough to know I need to put the plug get the plug set up first. Austin, how are you feeling about riding today? Feeling good. Feeling stoked? You yeah. need some stoke level, dude. Where's yeah. the stoke level? Is it like Woo. down here? There we go. Yeah. yeah. Jance, you getting stoked? Yes, sir. All right, he's more serious. Getting the bikes done. Justin's already got his gear on. He's, where's your stoke level today, Trump supporter? Uh, <laughs> I hope my fault. Where's the stoke level today? One ten to 10. Out of 10. 10 out of 10. Possibly 11. Possibly 11. Should have pocket knives like that. What happened, Senator? <laughs> Dan's pocket knife slipped and cut my finger open. <laughs> Don't pretend like you were using it for the right purpose. <laughs> what up? Well, you know what? They're like, uh, they're like wood screws.
All right, out here, middle of a snowstorm. It's April 10th, so you can believe how surprised we all are. Found this cool ladder thing up here. Woo! Just got out of our snowstorm. Found a sweet little area. Found a shelter. Found a shelter. Good lunch spot if it was warm out. And if we had food. And if we had food. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. You okay. Be gentle on him. Yeah, be gentle on that. Yeah, yeah, wrestle him. Yeah, throw him in the head and arm. <laughs> oh, he's out there. <laughs> oh, don't get him sandy. Yeah. Got power over me. You lock me up. I want to leave. Well, we made it back safe. Everyone had a good time. Success. Success. Boys, you didn't even load it up. The next section of this video is dedicated to Truett Rhoda and his family. On the road right into the trailhead on this same ride one year ago, Truett returned to his heavenly home from injuries sustained in a motorcycle accident. Although I never had the opportunity to personally meet him, the words shared in the spirit that was felt at his memorial site was something I'll never forget. His nickname is True Blue, meaning loyal, faithful, and someone you can count on. This perfectly describes Truett because he was an amazing example and influence on all those who knew him. Truett lived an amazing life full of service and kindness to all. He stood up for what is right. It's a reminder to us all to live every day to the fullest and love those around you. His work continues on the other side, inspiring those here on earth who had the opportunity to know him. This ride is dedicated to him. True Blue!
Moab, 2K19, lunch break. Everyone's chilling. You're chilling. So where do we see all your videos? Dude, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, day three in Moab. Everyone's load up. Stay true to yourself. Your real self, not the fake self, but the one deep down inside that you don't tell anybody about because you're weird. That one. That one. Marijuana beats? Yes. I was going to, I was like, no dude, I'm not dropping that. A sweet little step up behind us here. Everyone's been hitting it. It's a lot more intimidating than it looks. GoPros make everything look like two year olds can do it. It's got the Green River down there. Brown. But it's brown right now. How's it feel being the only girl? It's all right. I'm over it though. <laughs> You're over it. Josh is identifying. All right, Cordell, what we got going on over here? So I borrowed a motorcycle from a buddy just to try it out, and I realized why he let me because it's completely like non-maintained. The spokes are super loose, and the suspension is like all messed up. So we're giving a little trail tune-up. We're re relacing the rim and uh, torquing the, uh, the the spokes here out in the desert. So is this friend going to remain nameless? Or? He's going to remain nameless, but if he sees this, he owes me dinner, like a nice steak dinner. Nice steak dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me 
I guess the biggest word of wisdom would be to try and get more than 250 subscribers. That's the, that's the, I'm at 260 right now, all right? Well, then you're good. I'm good. Thank you, Mike, for inviting us again to Moab. And it's my declaration that I'm going to make every attempt possible not to work in the hotel two of the four days that we ride next year. There's a lot of wiggle room in that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we get something more specific. Do I, do I need to be a little bit more? Yeah, more something solid? binding. I declare that I will be here come hell or high water next year longer than Adam. <laughs> That's pathetic as well. <laughs> Gosh. You guys are doing rough crowd.